All right, guys, pulled the hood off my little car, and there it is, 1985 Ford Diesel Escort. This is a Mazda motor. That's kind of designed off the of Perkins design, and there's its little fuel pump, belt driven off the back of the cam, and this is uh, pretty much the same setup arrangement as most Escorts. The uh, little five-speed in it, and I brought it over here, dragged it over here to my shop, over in front of my shop, with uh, this right here being the problem. This is a preheater for air, and this is the uh, hookup for the uh, um, glow plugs. I figured I've only got two glow plugs that are working, but this car has been sitting, and... It's been, and this little car has been sitting since, very fade, barely can see it, blue ink right there, since uh, August of 2012. So that makes it three years this August. And um, I came over here and grabbed its battery, and its battery is dead. Of course, it's a 2002 battery. And I took the one out of my little EXP, and we've got it hooked up. And it's currently getting a little bit charged right now. Um, so it's got some juice going into it. Let's see if make my connectors might not be good here. So there it is right there. Um, we're going to start this thing up now. I've figured out why it, why it's battery, it suck a battery down in a heartbeat because of this thing. It's the little preheater. See how it kind of melted when I hooked a good battery up? The little preheater right there, this is 12 volt. That gives the air some warm charge going in here, um, as needed. And apparently the relay is froze up on it. So let's see if we can get this thing started. Kind of cross your fingers. It's been sitting with the same fuel in it for three years. And hear the fuel pump kicking. As it's right there, diesel fuel only. <laughs> Might take a while. Okay, there we go. Crush fingers. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit. That is running, guys. Make sure it's out of gear here. See, it's a little... I don't know if you can read that. A little five-speed. Look, even original radio. And it works. I got no signal because the antenna's ripped off of it. But, look... All the original. Look at all the parts that ain't on. The hood, the doors. <laughs> Man, y'all take a listen. This thing has been sitting underneath that metal in my car. This thing's been sitting underneath that metal in my carport for three years on the 26th of this month. Listen. And... Um, Listen to that thing. That's... Well, that would be the throttle, or this would. Would you look? That's been sitting a long time, so I'm not going to rev it up. I've got the air filter off of it because I had to try to figure out why that was getting... That right there was like make a little smoke come up right here when I hooked the battery up. Or right there, you see where it separated? So something went wrong in this little heating element, but apparently it doesn't really matter because it's running without it. Let me disconnect this. This was a temporary to get these hooked up. I, do, I did test it, and I've got that one. And that one are the only two glow plugs that are any good, but I do have a box of these glow plugs. Now, this little engine here is going to go into this car in my shop. The car in my shop had its engine screwed up, so I am putting this little engine, and uh, I'm going to be putting it in my... Uh, in my red car. Did you look at that? Now listen to that. Man, don't that sound smooth? Look at this smooth. Oh. Makes a little more noise because that's open. 
I checked everything on it. Fluids are good, oil was good. And this is running on diesel. Of course, it's red diesel, because that's the way I store them, diesel cars. I'll put fill them full of red diesel until I see diesel come out up here. And then I stored it. So it's been run, sitting here on red diesel. But this is what you got. And where's, I don't even know where the tailpipe is on this thing. There it is. No smoke. No freaking smoke. It didn't even smoke when she fired up. Been sitting three years. Look at this thing. Headliners all falling out. This car was the one that got sideswiped by a snowplow. The guy made a was in a big cul-de-sac, and the snowplow came in the cul-de-sac, lost control. When he get when he got traction, he shot right up into these people's yard, where this car was parked on the side of their driveway, and just creamed it. This whole side of the car ripped the fender off. When I went and got the car, I drove this car from Ontario. Um, Ontario, Oregon, which is on just on inside of Oregon coming from Idaho all the way to Twin Falls. She drove beautiful except for she had a bad wobble in that back wheel back there. And these are the original tires. This thing was sitting on three flats. And look, I had to air it up. It was sitting on flats. The tires, the tires were flat. And I had to air them up. And they freaking things took air. So cat's been sleeping in it it's a mess but look listen to that thing run that's a diesel two liter diesel engine listen to how that thing purrs so this is going in my 86 tempo the 86 tempo is like a brand spanking new car and if you ever look at my old videos you'll know the story behind that and um this thing here runs like a dream. Let's see what it sounds like shutting it off. Like a dream. We'll pull the key out. If I can get it out. There's the Ford key. Right there with the paperwork. All right. It was bought as is. Insurance salvage. But the engine is in excellent condition. Um, so we will do the right thing and cover this thing back up been sitting that long it can sit a little longer until i get that on there this winter